Hi there, Mike Stone here at CBS 6. I want to give you a 1 o'clock update here on the weather that's going on outside right now. We have storms moving into the Richmond metro area currently. There's a severe thunderstorm watch for most of the viewing area. This goes until 6 o'clock tonight. There have been some severe thunderstorms uh, to the west and to the north. These storms will have some damaging wind gusts and the potential for some large hail. There's not a high tornado threat today, but we may get an isolated storm or two that produces some rotation. So we'll keep an eye on that. There's actually one tornado warning up in Culpeper County a little while ago. Here's the line of storms getting closer to I-95 right now. We still have some severe thunderstorm warnings here across northern Virginia. This has been moving out of our viewing area, but these are the storms that caused the uh, tornado warning just a little while ago. So those are moving away from our area up into northern Virginia, but you can see here this line of showers and storms extends from about Fredericksburg down to just west of I-95 down to the state line. We'll go in here on a few counties. You can see the heavy rain now pushing into Caroline County. There's heavy rain with some thunder here in Spotsylvania County. The rain goes down through Doswell and Ashland. Some heavy rain right now in shore pump and also down in Midlothian. Thunder and lightning with this. This storm has been kind of gathering a little steam the last little bit, so we're keeping an eye on that, but some heavy rain now from Glen Allen back into shore pump, back to Wyndham. It's kind of reaching the Gaskins Road area now, Knuckles Road and 95 and 295. A little bit farther towards the south, some heavier rain from Midlothian down through Winter Park and then down going into western Dinwiddie County. There's a little activity ahead of that towards the Tri-Cities and these thunderstorms extend all the way down through Brunswick County. There is some heavy rain behind this, but the leading edge is where the stronger thunderstorms will be. So these will continue tracking eastward for the next couple of hours. They'll pass by to the east. There'll still be some rain and some thunder around through late afternoon, and early evening, but the best chance of some stronger thunderstorms will exit to the east by late afternoon. And then we'll see some calmer weather coming in for this evening. Temperatures ahead of these storms in the 70s, but once it starts raining, we drop down to the 60s and the 50s, and we also have some gusts ahead of these main lines here over 30 miles an hour. So there's the potential for some severe thunderstorms this afternoon, some damaging wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour and some large hail. Stay with CBS 6, the Weather Authority. We'll keep you up to date here all afternoon, not only on Channel 6, but also WTVR.com and the CBS 6 Weather Authority app.